Aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Paul Fletcher. I am a master teacher certified by the Tao Academy. Very grateful to be connecting with you today to share with you some key spiritual wisdoms of cell theory for health and wellness. There is quite a bit of knowledge that my teacher, Dr. and Master Shah, has accumulated over the course of his lifetime, starting with becoming a student of medicine. And a lot of what I'll be sharing with you today originates from this spiritual teacher. So he has a unique foundation with which to share this information in. Also, I will be sharing with you a little bit from a new book brought by one of Master Shah's top teachers, Master Peter Hudoba. It's called Shen Medicine. I'll be uh, reading directly from his book to make sure you get the exact information because I don't want to teach from it as it's not my book and uh, I would require permission to teach from it. But if I read directly the words, then you certainly can receive quite a bit of value from this wisdom that I will share with you today. <clears throat> and I hope that you'll be able to apply it to a deeper and better understanding of why the wisdom, the practices of Dr. and Master Shah uh, are effective. Uh, a lot of us, we do the practices or we know about them or we read about them and we don't really know why they work. And so what I'll be sharing with you today will actually give you uh, a wonderful foundation of understanding. So the next time you do a practice uh, uh, that Master Shah has mentioned in any of his books or if you do a practice in a group format or even uh, attend any of the Dao Chong sessions at any of the eight centers worldwide, you will have a much deeper understanding of what is actually occurring at the cellular level uh, because we are uh, uh, a physical being living a spiritual life. Uh, for some of us, we are a spiritual being living a physical life and we need to find the spirit again. But in either case, I suspect you'll get a lot of value out of today's teaching. So let's check in with who's joined us today. Welcome NNC, Aloha, welcome Henderson, welcome uh, Samba, Aloha to Lisa Patterson, uh, welcome Kristen, Aloha uh, Janine. Welcome also to Phyllis and Lisa. Aloha G2. Welcome. Thank you, Kristen, for uh, coming and serving. Kristen has been my assistant for three years. And this week is actually our third year anniversary. So give great love to Kristen. She has been invaluable with bringing this live stream out to uh, literally probably 10,000, 100,000 people have seen these live streams because of her uh, timeless effort. And she stays up late at night uh, you know it might be 6 p.m here in hawaii and she'll be up at midnight uh, serving and assisting so truly um, a beautiful soul and i'm truly grateful thank you Kristen. aloha dan welcome jane welcome also to petra marie lennon uh, welcome don robinson aloha tone aloha susan uh, thank you all for your presence and thank you for clicking the share button letting other people know about today's live stream <coughs> One of the things that we do each and every time I connect on these live streams is we sing the song of love, peace, and harmony. And I'll give you a little snippet of the value at the cellular level since that's what we're working with. Everything, everything, everything uh, starts at the level of soul and then impacts our physical vessel. And so when we sing the song of love, peace, and harmony, simple as it sounds, what is happening? We are literally bringing heavens, Shen Qi Jing, heavens information positive information energy and matter into our um, energetic space and obviously that's a much higher frequency and vibration than we have our cells are operating at a current and a frequency that vacillates throughout the day depending on is our energy positive is our energy negative so when we sing the song of love peace and harmony what in essence are we doing we are bringing heavens shen qi jing heavens frequency positive messages uh, into our cellular structure thereby bringing a much higher vibration our cells then vibrate at a much more um, harmonious pace a pace that is in alignment with heaven and that positive energy that positive information instantly creates a um, beautiful radiation of love and light through our body thereby bringing healing 
to our organs, our systems, naturally. So that is a natural and simple explanation of what occurs just by singing the song of love, peace, and harmony. So let us do that as we do every day for the last three years with these live streams. And we invite all souls that wish to serve unconditionally, sing this song with us. So let us sing one round for all those that are new, not familiar with this, maybe watching for the first time, maybe uh, Kristen has shared this on one of your pages. Uh, this is a mantra that has been translated into over 40 languages. It is shared worldwide and it has one unique purpose, one sole purpose, if you will, which is to bring the message of love, peace and harmony to all languages and all cultures everywhere in the world. Because when we're all on the same page with that one message, we will have peace on earth. So let us sing with this in mind. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. I my heart and souls I love all humanity joy hearts and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony how 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 thank you thank you thank you Let's see who else has joined. Welcome, Wagner. Aloha, Lisa. Uh, welcome, Alejandra. Welcome, Deborah. <clears throat> welcome also to Elizabeth. Great to see you here. Welcome, Nelson. Welcome, Sean. And Aloha, Spring. Quinoes. Quinoes. Welcome, Hina. Aloha to um, Franz. Welcome, Diana, Victoria. Aloha, Rosetta. If I missed your name, forgive me. I love you. I'm very grateful for your presence. So the subject matter today is something that, can, that is very, very important to have a deeper wisdom and understanding of. All of us have levels of pain. Some of it's physical pain. Some of it's emotional pain. Some of it's a mental suffering, mental pain. Uh, we all have pain originating from different places. Some of Sometimes it's financially painful. Sometimes we have relationship pain. All of these different imbalances, these different uh, uh, sources of pain have one thing in common. They all represent a negative energy, a negative source of information that is not impacting our uh, 3D world, the way we bring ourselves to the world in a positive manner. If, for example, we have relationship pain, is that beneficial to when you, you when you're at work? or when you're communicating with others. We may bark at others and be angry. So all of these different sources of external pain actually originate from the inside. Uh, Master Shah brings the wisdom to us that the source of all suffering, the root cause of all suffering, is our negative information, negative messages, energy, and matter. And these originate from all time all of our thoughts, all of our words, all of our actions that we have made in all time that, uh, and our ancestors that have been out of alignment with love. So what's an example? Uh, we think something negative, we judge or we're critical or we blame or we, um, we uh, yell, we become angry. Um, all of these obviously are not positive and we have done this towards others. We're all aware that we're less than perfect in this life. And in so doing these things, we create an imbalance in the record of heaven, in the record of our soul. Our soul is the carrier of all lifetimes, of all messages. Very important, I'll repeat. Our soul is the carrier of all lifetimes, of all messages, 
What is the message? It's the information that we've put out there before our present moment. It's the information of our choices, right? Were we loving? Were we kind? Were we beneficial? Did we serve others? Did we bring our hearts to everything that we did? Did we avoid gossiping? Did we avoid uh, uh, thinking negative things about others? If we did, that would reflect in this life because our physical experience right here and now is a reflection of our thoughts, words, and actions, our negative or positive messages from all time. This then affects our physical body, leading to the subject matter for today, the key spiritual wisdom of cell theory for health and wellness. So we are a physical vehicle. Uh, if you died at this moment, your body will whoop, drop to the ground, just like a, 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 a suit, just like clothes that you pull off your body and they whoop, drop to the ground. If you ever pulled clothes off your body and throw them, they don't stand there in perfect form, do they? They drop to the ground. Why? Because they do not have an energy holding them up. You are the energy holding the clothes into the fit and form. What is the energy holding you into fit and form? What is the energy that makes your body animated, upright? It is the source creator energy. It is the life force principles that animate all life. And this life force, by whatever name you call it, some Allah, some call it God, some call it the universe, some call it any number of names, doesn't matter. What matters is the recognition that this life force energy animates every human being, including you. And you, as part of this life force energy, carry within you the messages of all lifetimes the information of all lifetimes. This message and information impacts the entirety of your life from the moment you're born to the moment you die. All your messages of positive and negative information are impacting your life. They impact you by coming through the subject, uh, the acknowledgement of the structure of information flow. Information flow is is Shen, Qi, and Jing. And that breaks apart a little bit. Shen is soul, heart, mind. And then below that is then energy and then matter. Well, what is the cells? What is uh, the cellular structure in our body? Is that the soul? Not directly necessarily. It does have aspects. We'll touch on that in a minute. Is it the heart? Is it the mind? Not as we consciously know it to be. The cells are more along the matter level. They're at the bottom of the rung. We are made up of billions and trillions and more zeros than you can count is how many cells are in our bodies. And therefore, at the bottom of the rung of Shen, Qi, and Jing, Jing meaning matter, they are positively or negatively impacted by everything above it. Right? So let's take a deeper look at cell theory and see how a deeper understanding of messages, energy, and matter can positively impact our health and wellness. Uh, as indicated, we all have different levels of pain. Some of us have fatigue and exhaustion, right? Raise your hand. Unhappy face if you have fatigue and exhaustion. Happy face if you're full of energy, right? What does this say to us? It says that my cellular vibration is out of alignment. If we have excess energy, then that means you had too much caffeine, <laughs> like me sometimes. And then I'm, and sometimes I get a little too uh, uh, graphic with my words. Uh, then some of us are very, very exhausted. We just can't seem to rub two nickels together. We can't seem to get ourselves off the floor, right? This is also a cellular imbalance. But there is a preceding or a predecessor to these cellular imbalances. There is a reason why. Uh, there is a lethargy or a fatigue. There is a reason why we're vibrating at a very high level. And that reason starts at the Shen level, soul. When we uh, take responsibility for our messages, our information, how do we know what is the information? You might be a beautiful, loving, wonderful person right now, always exuding love, always doing your very best, taking care of others, right? You could be truly uh, worthy of writing a book about in your goodness. Why then is there suffering for you or others in the world that may have a similar uh, 
uh, positive external effort. It is because our soul is the carrier of all messages of all lifetimes, not just our current messages, our current information that we're giving it of positivity and love. So we have to take responsibility regardless uh, by looking at our current state of, of health and wellness. Are we um, in a space of energy? Are we space in a lethargy and fatigue? Are we in a space of constant pain or are we in a space of um, positivity where everything is moving wonderful? In understanding how we get uh, how the cells can be positively or negatively impacted we go up one level to energy and then we go above the energy to the mind and then we go above the mind to the heart and we go one level up the highest level of soul when we can change things at the level of soul then everything beneath it has to change master shah's one sentence secret heal the soul first the mind and the body will follow. Well, what's your body made up of? Organ system, cells, right? Cell units, all the smallest matter within the cell units. So we have to start dealing with things at the level of soul first. Then the heart is below the soul. Well, what does that mean? That means that the soul is actually in charge of the heart. or oh, the physical heart? You mean the heart of the body? Yes, but no, also. The heart is a much wider understanding. We all have heart chakras. You'll have, uh, you are, are not unequal in, in, in God's eyes. Uh, he gave all of us chakras. He gave all of us energy centers. That's why we're animated. That's why we're standing. If you died in this moment, your body would fall to the ground as I was leading to a moment ago because we are animated by the source. That source animation comes through our energy system, our chakra system, our energy meridian system you have one I have we all have one uh, that's what makes us equal in many many ways so when we have blockages in this energy body then that therefore affects everything below it your heart is just a physical apparatus your heart chakra is actually far more important than your heart because your heart chakra is a part of the energy body which is above the cellular structure. Do you understand the hierarchy of things? So when you deal with things at the level of soul first, you're affecting the, um, the energy before you get to the matter. This is how you can positively affect health and wellness. This is how you uh, adjust the cellular imbalances by this basic understanding of hierarchy. So in understanding the nature of soul we understand there's positive and negative information and we have control over adjusting those let's say for example uh, something occurred and you got really upset about it and you take it so personally right um, a lot of, it's, it's in some books they call that being the victim okay well what does that do it closes your heart your physical heart yeah it actually does negatively impact your physical heart but it actually closes your heart chakra and by closing your heart chakra, that negatively impacts your physical heart, which negatively impacts all your cells, which negatively impacts the pumping of blood throughout your body. Do you see the hierarchy of things? This is the, this is the, the wisdom of ages, that when we deal with things at the level of origination, the information, the information we allowed into our life, we said something or somebody said something to us we receive the information in in this example in a hurtful manner we close our spiritual heart which then is a message isn't it is that a positive message or a negative message what do you think and then that creates a message at the mind level Urgh, that da 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 how dare they do that to me i'm the victim right and so this is the process we go through. A lot of us, it's automatic. It's built into us from childhood. So we need to change this thinking. We need to do what? Change the information. We have to change it. We have to go above the cause to shift the layers all the way down to the cellular level. So we uh, have an uh, un unpleasant experience and our heart gets hurt and then it creates a negative impact on the heart. But prior to that physical impact on the heart, there's a couple layers in there that you don't want to miss because they're there, and to ignore them, we're missing the most important wisdom of Master Shah's teachings. 
So we go from the soul, the information impacts the heart, and then it impacts the mind. The mind is the processor. The heart is the receiver. It received the information. The heart is your heart chakra, okay? Our energy system, have you ever had like a car accident, right? And your whole body is just shocked. It's just a shock. Why? Because our energy body was shocked first. So the heart is the receiver. The mind is the processor. And it processes this, in this example, this negative information. It then uh, sends a message to the energy of the body. And that energy of the body, in this example being a negative energy, negatively impacts us at the level of the cellular structure, thereby bringing the condition of depression, for example. Oh, I can't believe they did that to me. Why did they do that to me? Everybody always picks on me. They don't love me. Nah, 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 nah. And we go in this circular cycle of an emotional uh, downswing. Obviously, any of these emotional negative downswings are not going to positively affect you at the level of the cellular structure. There's just no way it can when you think about it, okay? Let's do this entire teaching in reverse from a positive message, okay? So we are out and about, we're in nature, and we see somebody over there with their dog, and we go and we start talking to them, and the dogs start happy and playing, and they become best friends, and this person you're talking to is very lovely, and they start sharing very beautiful messages with you. They give you wonderful information, and you talk for an hour and you exchange phone numbers and you have a new best friend. This person really resonates with you and you're going to meet tomorrow so the dogs can play some more, right? A good, positive message. What then happens? At the level of soul, your souls have met before. That's why it was positive. Because if you ever walked into a room and for some reason you don't like that person over there, that's because your souls have met before, right? But this person, it's a very positive experience. So at the soul level, positive information has entered your world. And this then opens your heart. Your energy system is positively affected. Your heart is open. This then gives a message to the mind. And the mind says, wow, there is somebody out here that loves me. There is somebody out here that gets me. There is, some, there is a person I can talk to every day when I come to the park with my dog. This is exciting. I'm looking forward to learning more about this person. Your heart is open. The mind then processes this and says, this is a good thing. I feel energized. I feel valued. I feel appreciated. I feel grateful. This then whittles down to the energy of the body. And the body sends out these beautiful radiating light, rainbow light to all the cells. And the cells go, yay, this is like an energetic massage of love. I'm really enjoying this. And they start positive responding. Cell-to-cell -cell communication increases. This is what happens with a deeper understanding of Master Shah's wisdom of Shen, Qi, and Jing, soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. So when we do practices, when we uh, do any form of a forgiveness practice, for example, what does the forgiveness practice do? It opens your heart. It releases negative information at the level of soul. Why do we do a forgiveness practice? Because the forgiveness uh, practice assists us to recognize that everything happens for a reason. The suffering, the pain in our lives happens for a reason. We do forgiveness with because of that recognition. And when we recognize that we're having relationship suffering because possibly we've caused relationship suffering upon others, then we can release that negative information, which then opens our heart, which then changes the processor's perspective, which then brings positive energy to us, which then positively affects the cells. There has been plenty of documented proof that people have reversed their cancer by sitting down uh, day in and day out and bringing positivity into their life, watching comedy all day long, going out and being grateful for everything they have. They have reversed their cancer just by being positive and bringing positive things, funny things, things that reverse the energetic structure of their body. Okay, There is no shortage of these kinds of proofs out there. So this is a deeper and higher understanding. 
Forgiveness does that. What else will do that with what Master Shah has brought to us? He has brought to us songs, love, peace, and harmony. How often do I, every single time I'm on my live stream, we sing love, peace, and harmony every single time. I remind you to share, to sing, to put it in your environment, keep it at your job at work, right? What is it doing when you sing love, peace, and harmony? It's opening your heart. It's bringing the message at the mind of the processor love and peace and harmony carries a positive message which then brings those energetic messages to our body which causes our cells to operate in what love peace and harmony with each other because uh, how, we can't even get along with 10 co-workers but somehow our trillions and billions of cells are getting along but when they don't get along why don't they get along anger fear worry uh, uh, pain, physical pain, emotional pain. Uh, uh, I can't believe he did that to me, right? All of these forms of pain create these rampant emotions, right? Fear, worry, sadness, grief, uh, anxiety, depression, blah, blah, blah. But those have precursors, guys. There's something above that that you want to take a look at. And when we can adjust these things, well, so you're, you're telling, and this is, I'm be the devil's advocate, so to speak. So what you're saying is if I can change, just be a positive person, then all this will change? Yes, that's one aspect of it. You need to incorporate as much light into your life as you possibly can. You need to bring as much positive energy, positive information, positive message into your life as you can. Okay, putting love, peace, and harmony in your environment will do that. Putting on tv.drshaw.com, where there's constant wisdom in the background. You may hear some of it, you may not, but it's constantly going. There are 60 billion saints in there, or 30 billion is enough to make a positive impact in your world, and they're radiating their love and light. That's a good thing. Do a forgiveness practice every day. What is all this doing? Keeping your heart open bringing positive message, removing negative messages, adjusting your energy, adjusting your matter. Now, let's go into a little more deeper understanding, and then we'll give you some practice, shall we? I am going to be reading directly from this new book. Dr. Peter Herdoba wrote it uh, based on the wisdom he's learned from Master Shah. I'm not gonna be teaching anything from it because I don't have the authority to do so, but reading directly will give you some Wonderful wisdom. This is chapter two called Key Concepts and Theories. And the first one is called Cell Theory. Okay. Ancient and modern theories and secrets provide a vital foundation for understanding the nature of matter and energy in the human body and the consequences for illness or the restoration of health. Here's where we learn a little bit more. With the advent of the microscope centuries ago, researchers found that our body is built of billions and billions of tiny cells. So at this physical 3D level, that's what we are. The cell is basically a small unit. It has a membrane, a cell wall, a nucleus, RNA, DNA, and around the nucleus, there is many tiny uh, specks he calls organelles, each with an important function. And these uh, remain, the, the remaining space, this part's important, the remaining space inside the cell is filled, in this case with the fluid. Each organ in the body has its own unique function, and it's built from what? Cells, specifically designed for that purpose. So certain cells are designed for the heart, certain ones for the brain, they all have a different purpose. However, even though there are obvious differences between cells, for example, the cells in the brain are different from the cells in the intestines, all cells have the same function and design. Furthermore, all cells have one common function, that is to create energy. I will repeat, very important. All cells have one common function, and that is to create energy. The whole body is just one cell within another cell. Think about that. When you are born, this is not in his book. When you are born, sperm, egg come together. Think at that moment, Master Shah teaches that heaven sends a soul. Right at the moment, sperm and egg touch and, and uh, birth is created. The soul comes, think right there. Gives the message. What is the message? Ah. And then what happens? It reproduces, makes two. And then think, 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 bigger, 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 bigger. So 
when you hear this, it might sound like you're hearing it for the first time, but you've all seen those health videos uh, where they show one cell becomes two, becomes four, 16, and 32, and da 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 So he states the whole body is just one cell within another cell. And we can understand this. As I mentioned, a cell is a small unit that has a membrane, which is a cell wall, uh, within which there is a nucleus and organelles. For every organ can also be understood as a large cell, as organs face a membrane that covers the entire organ and space inside the membrane, and then it's filled with millions and millions of cells. So he goes on talking about cells, and then he says, finally, uh, imagine our body as one big cell. Covered with skin, one big cell covered with skin, which has large compartments, each lined with separate membranes. Each has many organs within, and each organ is covered with a membrane, and each is filled with billions of cells because it's layered. They all work the same. They're all filled with nucleuses and organelles, and each of these are covered. It is the most amazing that this pattern repeats from the largest until the smallest just like the universe, right? Energy theory. This is Master Shaw's theory is restated with a little more medical knowledge behind it with Master Peter, who is a PhD. After we eat food, energy theory, after we eat food, it is digested into simple compounds in the gut. And then the liver breaks down those compounds into glucose. Blood carries the glucose to reach every cell in the body as a basic nutrition. Once a cell absorbs glucose, the cell expands from the additional matter. This is important because Master Shah has a teaching. So I'll repeat it. Once a cell absorbs glucose, the cell expands from the additional matter. The cell breaks down the glucose into carbon dioxide and water, and during this process, energy is released from the chemical bonds. So the food comes in, it breaks it down, it distributes it around the body, and then at the cellular level, it breaks it down and separates out the dioxide from the energy. This is where the energy comes from. Then the cell, important, then the cell contracts and it spits out the carbon dioxide, the water, and the energy into the space around the cell. Okay? You'll understand in just a minute why all this is very, very important for health and wellness. Stick with me. This process of transforming matter into energy is continuous, and it appears as though the cell is vibrating. So when you look under a microscope, cells, well, what's really happening? The cell is processing and creating energy. And that energy, I'll repeat this last sentence, the cell contracts, what does contract mean? It means it gets smaller. And expels, pushes out of the cell, carbon dioxide, water, and energy. And where does it go? It goes into the space outside of the cell. This is exceedingly relevant to those who have fatigue, those who have physical pain. You will start to understand more in a minute. Energy can also be transformed back into matter. Huh. So the cell goes, squishes down, spits out carbon dioxide, water, and energy. And this is saying that energy can be transformed back into matter. Wow, that's interesting. Master Shaw calls this cellular vibration a process of transforming matter into energy and energy back into matter. The rate at which this transformation occurs is regulated by, guess what? There's a, okay, so the cells vibrate, cells are always vibrating, they're, they're squeezing down, putting out energy into the space, okay, and this is what causes you to move, and then it comes back into matter, and it's going boom, 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 vibrating at a very specific rate, or a very specific pace, and that rate and that pace is dictated by, wait for it, the rate at which the transformation occurs is regulated by the message or soul. It's regulated by the information or matter. Is it positive or is it negative information? Do you understand that your cellular health, 
which is everything that you are, is regulated the energy and matter, the vibration at which it spits out positive energy or negative energy. And then that turns back in is regulating at either a beneficial pace or a not so beneficial pace. And the precursor, the cause of that regulation is the negative or positive energy and matter. This then is why we do practices. This then is why we trace calligraphy why we do forgiveness practice, why we chant love, peace, and harmony. Every single practice Master Shah has brought to us is designed to bring positive information, energy, and matter. What does a calligraphy carry? It carries the highest Shen Qi Jing from the highest sources and brings their positive frequency, energy, matter, information into our third dimensional experience. And all we do is we trace it and that vibration comes to our cells, positive energy information comes to our cells and causes them to vibrate and spitting out into that space positive messages, which then creates the healing results that we all want. Are you starting to get it? Happy faces if you are. Master Shaw calls this cellular vibration a process of transformation of matter into energy and energy back into matter. The rate at which the transformation occurs is regulated by the message of soul. When the rate of this matter energy transformation is balanced and appropriate to the organism's needs, then one is healthy. However, if there is not production of energy, then the body suffers from what? Degeneration, atrophy, decay, and all those other unpleasant uh, labels that modern medicine likes to give us. The end result can readily be seen by x-rays or by examining the tissues. They can see that things are not in balance with the cellular vibration under x-rays and all the CAT scans. Alternatively, if too much energy is produced because the rate of balance is not in correct order, then energy clogs up the spaces between the cells. When energy clogs up the spaces between the cells because it's not going dunk, da dunk, da dunk, da dunk, back and forth in relative balance, then there is inflammation. What is inflammation? Pain, guys. That's what inflammation is. Tight neck, tight back, tight shoulders, tight whatever, right? Uh, uh, pain that doesn't go away. That is inflammation. Cysts, tumors. This is a, a condensing of too much energy. That's... Master Shah taught this. Soul, mind, body, medicine, one of his very first teachings. Cell uh, theory. This is the second part of cell theory. It's called energy sense, energy theory. Modern medicine can detect these imbalances with pet, pet, uh, PET scans, etc. When energy is emitted by the cell, it goes to the space outside the cell to maintain a healthy body. Not only must the production of energy in the body be appropriate, but the energy released around the space must also be moved away. It needs to move. So there is no buildup in that specific area. Got it? So for energy to be removed from the space, so the, the, the cell is going dunk, 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 but the energy outside the cell occurs and we don't want it to get too condensed it creates inflammation cysts tumors and so we need it to move for energy to be removed from around the cells there needs to be a constant flow of energy within the body this flow of energy is literally flushing the spaces between the cells to keep them fresh and unlocked let me give you an example master peter says for those that came in late uh, I'm reading directly from Shen Medicine uh, and then uh, tying it into Master Shah's direct teachings in a way where we can directly apply it. Uh, because when we do practice, we want to know why it works. How does it work? Sometimes we do a practice and we don't feel the difference. You need to know this is exactly what's happening every time you do a practice. Every cell creates energy from its energy and matter. Oh, sorry. Okay. So let me give you an example. Imagine you have apples in the cellar downstairs and there's no draft no wind 
In such an environment, the apples would get moldy and they would rot very quickly. But if there's a gentle draft and breeze is blowing, it keeps the apples nice and healthy and crispy. In the same way, we need to have constant motion of energy between the cells and between the organs so that they do not create any excess energy in those areas. Got it? So why then do they do Tai Chi, Qi Gong? Why do you feel better after yoga? Why do you feel better after walking? You are moving the Qi. You are moving the blood, which moves the energy so it doesn't stagnate. Got it? Field theory. This is the third of the four theories that Master Shah has brought to us. There is, as a reminder, cell theory, energy theory, which we just discussed. The next one is field theory. And the one after that is space theory. Okay. Field theory. Welcome, everybody. If I haven't acknowledged you, thank you for your presence. Field theory. Every cell creates energy from its matter. Every cell creates energy from its matter and releases the energy outside the cell. The energy goes into the spaces between the cells and creates an energetic field around the cells. Can you say aura? Can you say Carillion photography? Have you ever looked at the pictures where they show a leaf and it has a color around it? Or a human being and it has a color around it? What is happening? The cell is radiating a field that is measurable by modern instruments in today's technology. The energy goes into the spaces between the cells and creates an energy field around the cells. Each cell has its own field. So if you had cells that were impacted by negative messages and cells that were impacted by positive messages, they could have their own field. Isn't that interesting? Why do some people have liver cancer but the rest of their body doesn't have it? The negative messages have accumulated at that part of their body. The negative information is there. What would cause a liver cancer? Well, in Eastern medicine, side note, this is not in this book, side note, uh, Master Shah teaches in Eastern medicine that the liver is part of the wood element. And the wood element encompasses many things, one of them being the emotion of anger. Who's angry? Arr, right? Always responding angrily to things. Arr. Get lit very fast. Okay? This is negative information. You acquired it before you ever came into this life. You acquired more of it in this life, and you have yet to bring balance to it, patience and love and harmony. And because of that, it will negatively impact the wood element, and it could negatively impact the liver. So for those that have liver-related concerns, you might want to look into the deeper, higher wisdoms that Master Shah brings, but comprehend that at the cellular level, that could be why the cancer has isolated in that specific element. Okay, You want to start to see the patterns. But remember, go back to the teachings from the beginning. Everything starts at the level of soul. So the negative information at the level of soul, uh, you or the ancestors maybe brought great anger to others. Maybe you did very harmful, hurtful things, and it made them very angry. Maybe you took their land. Maybe you took their wife. Who knows, right? Maybe they were very angry. And so this negative information then doesn't leave your, your record of all, of all time. It stays on your energetic field, your soul field. And uh, it impacts the heart, which then gives the message, the message of uh, negative message of anger, which then goes through the energy and to the matter. And it could negatively impact the liver. You see, this is the interconnectivity from the top down. The fields of the cells interact and affect one another. Similarly, the fields of the organs affect one another. Both cells and organs can be either overactive or underactive. What is fatigue, right? Underactivity. Both cells and organs can be either over and underactive. Thus can lead, can, could lead to illness. Overactive cells will affect cells around them, and similarly, underactive cells will affect organs and cells around them. 
and the entire body. For example, a hyperactive thyroid could affect the entire body. If there is too much energy around the cells in an organ, too much energy around the cells inside an organ, we can resolve the we can resolve this overactivity by rebalancing to move the excess energy away. If there is not enough energy around the cells or the organs, we can use energy boosting techniques to replenish what is lacking. Ah, beautiful. The last theory of this cell theory is called space theory. We've covered cell theory. We've covered energy theory. We've covered field theory. And now we're covering space theory. There are two main types of spaces in the body. One is the small spaces around the cells. The next is the large spaces around the organs. When energies are emitted by cells, the energies collide in these spaces. When energy, repeat, when energy is emitted by the cells, remember the cells uh, convert the food and they convert it and, and it spits out into the space. It spits out what? Carbon dioxide, water, and energy. Okay, so the cells squeeze down, emit these things out. And we want the relative balance so the energy can come back to the cells and assist it in this continual process. Billions of cells are doing this. Uh, there are large spaces and small spaces. The small spaces are around the cells. The large spaces are around the organs. When energy are emitted by cells, the energy collides in these spaces. Some energies can even join and create new types of energy. To maintain health, the energies must flow constantly. According to traditional Chinese medicine, the human body is divided into three parts, referred to as the sanjiao. Everything above the diaphragm is called the upper diaphragm, the uh, upper uh, jiao. So jiao means space. So it's upper, middle, and lower jiao. Master Peter specifically writes, everything above the diaphragm is called the upper jiao. So where's your diaphragm? That's at the base of your rib cage, right, where that digit in your heart center is, below your heart center, right? So that's the upper jowl. The area between the diaphragm and the level of the navel is called the middle jowl. And the area below the navel to the pelvic floor, the base of your torso, is called the lower jowl. Okay? Here's a picture that he puts in his book. All right. I'll try to hold it st uh, steady. The upper jowl contains very important organs, the heart, the liver, the lungs, excuse me, the heart, the lungs, and the brain. It controls the blood and the oxygen throughout the body. The middle jowl, the liver, the stomach, and the pancreas, uh, and the spleen, and it performs the first level processing of the blood, which distributes all the energy, right? The lower jowl contains the kidneys, small and large intestines, reproductive and excreting organs. It provides the final processing of the food and the removal of the waste and the reproduction of life. So it seems that these three areas of the body are quite relevant. Master Peter then goes into the energy centers of the body. So here I'm not going to read any more. I'm going to move into a, a, a completion and a quick practice for us and tie all this together. Okay? What have we said? In Master Shah's wisdom, everything in all creation is made up of Shen, Qi, and Jing, which includes, Shen includes soul, heart, and mind. So everything ever created from Creator has a soul, a heart, and a mind. And that collectively impacts the energy in the matter. Okay? In that order. If you, uh, in Master Shah's wisdom, if you cut something out of the body, dealing with things at the level of matter, if you adjust things chemically, dealing things at the level of matter, like a pharmaceutical, it does not necessarily fix the energetic problem. It does not shift the mind-based problem, the processing problem. It does not open the heart, and it does not fix the negative information at the level of soul. 
So doing things down here at the base, at the matter level, cellular level, just adjusting the matter is not going to fix things, according to the wisdom Master Shah brings. The, uh, if we adjust the energy, Tai Chi, Qi Gong, massage, yoga, walking, that definitely helps us feel better because it helps adjust the matter because the energy is above the matter, right? We will definitely feel better, no doubt about it. Uh, a, a positive energy foods putting in our body, it will adjust the matter positively, but it doesn't change the negative mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, ego, or attachments. And it doesn't change the opening of the heart, and it doesn't change the negative information at the level of soul that brought the unhealthy conditions to us in the first place, right? So we need to go above those. So dealing with things at the level of soul is what we've been talking about this entire uh, first half hour of this teaching. The last half hour is application of cell theory. Uh, and I do recommend that you consider getting this book called Shin Medicine. Our master Peter beautiful book great wisdom he really takes some very complicated information and brings it down to a very simple level of understanding in here he goes the next stages of his teaching is to go into uh, practices for uh, impacting the chakras the energy aspects of the body okay so always do a forgiveness practice first because the forgiveness practice releases the negative information that brought these unpleasant energetics into our body. So start with a, 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 a forgiveness practice. And then we ask all the beings of light to join us. And then you use the four powers, body power, sound power, mind power, and soul power. So let's do one together. It's called the practice of Wang R. Hong, W-E-N-G, Wang. Wang is a sound power that vibrates the upper jiao that Master Peter just spoke about. R is a sound power that vibrates the middle jiao, the middle space of the body. And Hong, H-O-N-G, uh, uh, is a sound power that vibrates the lower part of the body. And so when we do, if you just did this practice every day, 15 minutes, you get up, you do a forgiveness, and you do Wang R Hong, which I'm only going to do for five minutes. Uh, I can, I can tell you it's highly unlikely you will not feel substantially better doing this for 30 days straight. Exceedingly unlikely that you will not feel better if you do this 15 minutes every day. I'd recommend one in the morning and at night before you go to bed. Because why? Because it moves the energy and matter blockages, releases the negativity. So let's do this together. You can place your hands in prayer position. Or you can drop your left hand in front of your heart center called the soul light, soul service hand position. Whatever is comfortable for you or not at all. Close your eyes. We'll ask heaven to join us. Dear all the beings of light, all heavenly beings, we love you, honor you, bow to you. We ask you to please join us at this time to assist with this practice. We ask as appropriate that you assist us to remove negative information, negative messages that cause ill health all the way down to the cellular level. We're extremely grateful for all that you do for us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dear the soul of all humanity, all souls, including animal souls, all souls in all time, if I or my ancestors have done negative things to you, spoken down to you, offered negative comments, negative information, if we have done anything negative in our thoughts in our words negative actions causing you harm physical harm emotional harm mental harm if we have caused financial problems uh, any relationship problems any problems of any kind if we have brought negativity into your life truly from the deepest layers of my heart i sincerely apologize I do not want to cause negativity for anybody, and I certainly don't want negativity in my life. I want positive messages, positive information. But I know, because I have suffering in my life, that it's highly likely I have caused negative conditions upon other people. And I wish to deeply and sincerely apologize. Please, please forgive me. Please forgive my ancestors. We are very grateful for the opportunity to receive your forgiveness this is what's called a forgiveness practice and this shifts the negative information to positive information okay now we will do the practice using the four powers called one our home and so for all of you just place your palms just like this okay 
just like this facing each other and put one palm uh, below your rib cage and the other palm below your belly button facing up one palm below your rib cage the other palm uh, below your belly button facing up okay they're approximately six to eight inches apart that's the distance apart and you you don't have to push them against your body nice and relaxed and when you chant Wong visualize light coming and vibration coming to the top part of your body when you chant R visualize it coming to the middle part of your body down to your belly button and when you chant Ho you can feel it's a lower bar vibrating the lower part of your body okay this is a very simple ancient 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 practice that vibrates and moves the blockages so that your cellular matter can rebalance itself Close your eyes. Let us chant this mantra. Wong. All in one breath. Ah. <clears throat> Again. Wong. Vibrate each area. Bring your back away from the back of the chair if you haven't already. Palms facing each other six to eight inches away. Some of you might have noticed you moved into a little meditative space there. It can happen quite easily with this practice. You just keep doing it. Five to ten minutes, fifteen minutes is even better. If you can do this, remember to do it. Sitting down with your back away from the chair. Standing up is actually better. Knees slightly bent. But this practice uh, serves to bring cellular vibration to every part in our body now those of you probably about 15 of you or so came in in the last 20 minutes or so half hour or so and the wisdom was so valuable 
Master Peter's wisdom in his book and Master Shah's wisdom from the first 30 minutes. Combined, you will have an extraordinary understanding of how to bring health and wellness to you at the cellular level by releasing the Shen Qi Jing blockages. There are countless ways to accomplish that. Master Shah lists them in all his books. The highest, fastest way to bring yourself health is to trace the calligraphies trace the calligraphies from his books they carry heavens extraordinarily high shen chi jing brought into this physical 3d world and by tracing them we are literally bringing balance and vibration to us at the cellular level we are shifting the heart and opening the heart we are bringing to the processor the mind positive messages because each of the calligraphy cards carries a message of love or forgiveness or other positive messages and we are positively impacting the energy and therefore positively impacting the matter of the cellular level there is so much value in master shah's teachings we thank master shah and his original soul we thank beloved peter hodova master peter for the great wisdom in his book shen medicine we thank all of those that have brought this wisdom to humanity that has allowed us to serve. And I thank all of you for coming and sharing with those that can benefit from this wisdom. So we say, love you three times, thank you three times, and all souls respectfully, respectfully return. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. All souls respectfully return. Thank you for sharing, guys. We'll see you on Thursday, three hours sooner than this time, 9 a.m. Hawaii, 12 uh, in the afternoon and Pacific time. 3 Eastern Time, 8 p.m. in the UK, 9 p.m. in the Central Eastern Time Zones, 12.30 in the morning in India, and it'll be early in Australia, about 5 in the morning, 7 a.m. in Kiwi Land. We'll see you then. Bye-bye, everybody.